We are located in the NASA Ames Research Park here at NASA Ames Research Center. Um, we were the first university to be located here. I think NASA saw the, the ties, especially in robotics and in software uh, engineering. Silicon Valley has a long tradition of private companies working with academia to develop and innovate on new ideas. For Carnegie Mellon to be part of this mix is, just provides another great resource for companies like Nokia. It's really important for our students and for companies here to have connections through fellowships, scholarships, uh, practicum support, research grants and faculty grants for multiple reasons. One of course is it supports the work. Two, it enables students to come to the work. And three, it enables us to understand what companies really want. I think it's very, very important for the PhD students today to actually have this close collaboration with the industry because I've been there myself and it's so easy that you forget that there is a real world out there that you need to solve real problems. One of the most interesting collaborations that I've been able to start is with Ericsson. I've been able to work with some of their team members who are working on something similar to what I'm doing and we meet every other week and we get to discuss ideas. It's a good opportunity for me because I can bring what I learn on campus and work with a group, a, a group of excellent people in Nokia. We have the good connection with the industry. That's uh, very important to the engineering students. The students here are, are able and in fact encouraged to actually approach different faculty uh, to talk about their own research and getting the idea from you know, tons of experts in all, all type of field. My research mostly focuses on having the sensors, having devices understand things, sense things on a more human level. This is one of the projects that we're working on. Uh, it's a sensor flight project. Now the idea here is that in the emergency situation, people are, could be trapped in a building, like earthquakes or during a fire. Why don't we just send a whole bunch of these cheap helicopters inside the building to look for people? We don't have to needlessly put people in harm's way. One of the programs we're starting here, which I'm helping to form, is this Disaster Management Initiative, or DMI, we call it. It's basically to provide open technology solutions to multi-jurisdictional, all-hazard kind of disasters. And we hope we can uh, reduce response time, increase the effectiveness, uh, to get people both to uh, able to plan and prepare better for disasters, as well as to respond and to recover from disasters. So Carnegie Mellon sort of sits in the middle of this little ecosystem where we can be an experimental test bed. So for several years we, in our research lab we worked on technologies that allow for people who speak different languages to communicate with each other across the language barrier. Our latest venture there is called Jibigo. It's a, uh, a smartphone app that runs on an iPhone and allows for people to communicate if they don't speak uh, each other's language. So it's all on the device, runs completely offline. The companies in the valley that do wireless and mobile devices see a real benefit for, our, for the research and the students that we, that we graduate to work in these areas. And companies like Ericsson, Nokia, um, Samsung, they, they need this technology. The universities do research that Ericsson doesn't do. So it's very natural for us to, if we want to look at long-term trends and long-term research, we want to go uh, to the universities. We have been partnering with Samsung. They approached us to, because they were familiar with the quality of our research, we are willing to work with the client very closely to find the best match between the research that we conduct and their business needs. Carnegie Mellon Silicon Valley is a, is a fantastic institution. It is a fantastic place to do cutting edge research, to um, work with entrepreneurs, to work with other companies, and just to have that, that uh, uh, cross-fertilization of ideas um, it's a fantastic place. That's why I came here, to be able to do research and to be entrepreneurial and to educate the next generation of students.